Sticky traps are a valuable aid in monitoring crops to detect early pest invasions or to demonstrate property freedom of flying insects. Sticky traps record and highlight the activity of these flying insect pests. Over time, records of pests trapped will show population trends and provide direction for any pest management program. Yellow sticky traps attract and capture white flies, aphids, shore flies, thrips and fungus gnats while blue sticky traps are best for thrips. Small open growing beds, greenhouses and polyhouses with areas of less than 500 square metres can be monitored as one unit. Large open beds, greenhouses and polyhouses should be divided into sections for ease of monitoring. Each sticky trap should be numbered and identified on a map or plan prior to being placed in the field or greenhouse. The following table details the minimum placement rate for sticky traps in different growing areas. Check the sticky traps for insects at least weekly. Two to three times a week is advisable during high risk periods. Change sticky traps at between one and two week intervals and place new traps in the same position. Develop a map or plan marking the placement of each numbered sticky trap. When changing or replacing sticky traps, follow the recommended placement rate and place new sticky traps in the same areas to track trends in pest populations. Choose the colour of the sticky trap, yellow or blue, based on the flying insects that are known to attack the crop being grown, or to demonstrate freedom of a pest if it is of concern to interstate markets. Position each numbered sticky trap in the greenhouse or unprotected growing area according to the map or plan. Space the sticky traps equally throughout the entire area in a Z or M pattern, avoiding placing traps close to sprinkler emitters. Whenever possible, place traps near entryways and vents to detect pest populations migrating into a protected structure. In unprotected cropping areas, pay particular attention to areas on the windward side, vegetative areas, waterways, water storages and vegetative waste dumps. Each sticky trap should be attached to a wire, a wood stake or other support that allows the sticky trap to be moved upwards as the crop matures and increases in height, always ensuring the bottom of the trap is positioned even with the top of the crop canopy. In most monitoring programs, to catch the greatest number of insects, orientate the longest part of the sticky trap vertically up and down. When monitoring for pests such as fungus gnats emerging from the growing media, it is sometimes recommended that sticky traps are placed horizontally, facing the growing media. Check for insects stuck on the sticky trap at least weekly. Time may be saved by counting insects caught within a 2.5 cm wide vertical column near the centre of the sticky trap or follow any instructions provided for sticky traps marked with a grid pattern. Leaf miner flies are caught more often along the top half of the sticky trap. Aphids and thrips tend to be caught on the bottom half, while white flies tend to be spread uniformly over the entire sticky trap. Sticky traps can be loosely wrapped in clear plastic cling wrap and placed in a Ziploc bag if being stored for pest identification and counting at a more appropriate location. Use an identification guide to identify and record all insects present on the sticky trap. Make special note of any beneficial insects. Record pest numbers on the sticky trap monitoring record. A range of publications and resources on pest monitoring are available on the NGIA website. More information can be found in the Biosecure HACCP guidelines. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia and Horticulture Australia Limited. Special thanks go to Queensland Indoor Foliage, Birdwood Nursery and Bugs for Bugs. For further information, contact your state or territory association or NGIA.